About 80% of women are actually in the wrong bra size. I think normalizing this conversation as much as possible is super important. Today, we're talking about average bra size. We're here in the design room with Vlada, one of our bra experts. Hi. And today, we want to know what is the average bra size and why does breast size change? So it's kind of hard to get an accurate reading because these statistics are all self-reported and about 80% of women are actually in the wrong bra size. So there is a survey that was done in 2013 out of 40,000 women and they found that the average bra size went up from a 34B just 20 years ago to a 34 D. So that's quite an increase. And then there's another survey that was done by a sexual wellness website called Bed Bible. So that was done with 5,000 women, so kind of a smaller pool of people, and that was worldwide. So for their US average, they actually reported a 40C being the average bra size. So definitely kind of a tricky number to pin down, but at least this will give you a good ballpark. So what factors determine your bra size? Okay, so first and foremost, it's gonna be genetics. So you're just kind of born with what you have. Another one can be your weight and exercise levels. And then another one is hormones. So whether that's birth control or menopause, so that can kind of affect you in a multitude of ways. So why is breast size getting bigger? Okay, so there can be a couple contributing factors to this. One of them being that the average BMI has gone up over time. So, you know, bigger body, bigger breasts. And then another one is just there are more inclusive sizes out in the market now. So you're not just trying to kind of squeeze into a smaller size. People really have honed in on their correct bra sizes. And then another factor that may contribute to this is just the general rise in popularity of breast augmentations. Is it natural for women's breast size to fluctuate not only day to day, but throughout their lives? Definitely. So there are a few factors that can contribute to this. And one of them is your menstrual cycle. So you have hormones that kind of fluctuate throughout this and it can cause an increase or decrease in breast size. And then similarly, sex can kind of temporarily give you that hormone boost. So you may not even notice because it might be a very subtle difference. So pregnancy or breastfeeding can also either kind of increase or decrease your breast size because think about hormone fluctuations, milk supply fluctuations. So you're really kind of getting a few factors there. Menopause is also another one to think about. So your body's estrogen production drops. And so you may see a natural decrease in your breast size. And then kind of last but not least, hormonal birth control can have some effect on your breast size as well. So again, you may see a very subtle difference and it can be temporary, but yeah, those are some of the factors that can really contribute to very natural fluctuations. Super fascinating. And honestly, I think a lot of us are gonna go through these changes or are currently going through these changes. So I think normalizing this conversation as much as possible is super important. Very important. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for teaching us about breast size. If you wanna learn more or see all of this info in written form, head to our blog, which is linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching Bra Talk with Honey Love. If you need more information, go ahead and click the link below. Got questions, comments, feedback? Leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, just, just say, say no, no to, to bad bras. bras.